Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Most respect to the brothers laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity and a hearty shalom to the believers out there who's believing on the words of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. It's your brother, Dawada, coming next to you another lesson. Lord willing, it's edifying. So, I received this comment from a guy named Monte Israel, you know, on a video I did uh, about a month ago on Bishop Nate, all right, and how he knew the name of the Lord. And the Lord has taken his name away from him, the way he can't say it, Okay. And this guy put up a couple of comments, you know, and uh, we're going to go through it, get a couple of precepts that were, that I put down on here, and uh, Lord will is edifying. So he says, uh, the point is make a doctrine out of, out of the name. And I respond, I said, the point is without, and it's supposed to be having, having the correct name, you can't be saved. Okay? And he says, uh, which scripture is that? And he uh, posted another comment right after this. So why the Bible was written in English? And this is my response to the first comment. Simply scriptures. He said, what scripture is that? Psalms 91 and 14. Because he has set his love upon me, Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he have known my name. Right? Acts chapter 4 and verse 12. Neither is there any salvation in any other, for there is none other name given under heaven. So like there is for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. You see, uh, Joel 3 and uh, 32. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahshah, shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion, and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord hath said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call, you see. And uh, my response to uh, the second question, so why the Bible was written in English, okay, said the Bible was translated into English, but is written in Hebrew and Greek. Look it up. Okay? And this guy just completely, completely uh, didn't deal with the scriptures. And this is what, you know, these guys from IUIC do. All right? They, they completely don't deal with the scripture. They completely uh, go to a totally different subject. So he says, explain this. Psalms 138 and 2. And let's go get that. All right? Is this guy completely just three precepts? He said, where is that in the Bible? Hey, we proved it. No comeback, right? So this is the scripture that he asked to explain this, right? Psalms 138 and verse 2. I will worship towards thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. Yeah, that's true. The Lord has magnified his word above his name. Because his word has to come to pass. But it, it doesn't discount you having to know the name to be to get salvation. What is this guy talking about? Right? Okay. I haven't even blocked this guy. Matter of fact, if we thought this guy was on some type of level. Let's go to his page, right? So, joined eight months ago, right? 
Let's take a look. Whoa, that's a surprise. This channel doesn't have any content. So if, if we thought <laughs> that you was a man of the Lord and that you had any type of uh, uh, substance to feed the flock, guess what? This guy has nothing, right? And this is what you get. You get guys who, who, who follow these different camps, all right, with no understanding, okay, and, and don't know what the scriptures is really about, okay? I said to him, uh, when you explain those scriptures, I just put, I'm supposed to be put up, I'll explain Psalms 138 and 2, right? And I put up these precepts, and I see he has responded again. And I put up these precepts right here, John 17 and 6. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me. And they have kept thy word. So, yeah, Yahweh I said what? He's manifested the name of his father, right? Again, I put down uh, John 4 and 26, and we're going to read this comment. I'm going to put down John uh, 4, 14 and 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, supposed to be the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. And what he just said, I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. So that was one of the things that was being brought back to remembrance of us, right? Let's see what this guy says. It says, why the Bible was translated in English, is it a reason why it's okay if you don't know? I will tell you. What? Let's, let's read this other comment. It says, That's, that is not why the Bible was translated into English. The Bible basically was translated in English because the Lord knew he was going to send us into Egypt again with slips, with ships, okay? And we needed to uh, understand this bastardized language. And this guy has no understanding why, because the Lord is not dealing with him, okay? And, and, and these repubates, as we, as we call them, you know, the Lord is going to deal with you, man, all right? It says... Why the Bible was translated in English, it is a reason why it's okay if you don't know, I will tell you. You see this guy? You have no content, no videos. You have not been feeding the flocks of your how about shy, shy, right? But you come on to a man comment board and try and tell him why it was translated in English. All right? But let's, 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 go, to, let's go to the scriptures. All right, let's go get Romans. And these guys, they, they, they don't have it. All right? Romans 11 and 7. What then, Israel, is highlighted. All right? You guys have no understanding. What then, Israel, have not obtained that which you seek for? But the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. According as it is written, the Most High have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear until this day. That's right. Until this day. These guys can't get it. Okay? Let's go to Matthew. They can't get it. It's not given unto them. All right, and that's the way the Lord made it. All right, you can keep calling on sweet Jebus. You can keep calling on the title God, and, and you're going to be destroyed. Okay? Let's see. Let's start at verse 10. Okay, this is Matthew chapter 13 and verse 10. Let's go ahead and highlight this. All right? So we're going to read it down. It says, And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, 
because it is given unto you to know the missions of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. You see, to them it is not given. Why? Because the Lord don't want them. All right. It says, "For whosoever have to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever have not from him shall be taken away, even that he have. Therefore I speak to them in parables, because they see." Because they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand, you see. And this is the reason why. Verse 14. And in them is filled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive, you see. Well, these guys hear us. You know, start with our apostles and elders on them. Break down the name of the Lord. But, uh, uh, leave the the Lord, all count, appears 2,000 times. All right? In the Bible. And, and that name is Yahweh. All right? In, in that video, you had old, old Bishop Nate. That's the Nate. Break down the name, man. All right? He was breaking down the name. Let you know exactly what it was. So the Lord said, once again, he manifested his name unto the men he has given out of the world. And in turn, when the Holy Spirit, the Holy the Holy Ghost, which is the Holy Spirit, come upon us, is going to teach us all things that he has said to us. What is that? That's including the name, man. Okay? Matter of fact, let's go get another preset regarding that. Okay? Let's go to the first John. Chapter 2 and verse 20. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. That includes the name. But you got to have to have salvation. All right? The letter J wasn't invented until what? The early 1600s. All right? So, what is this guy? You know, obviously, is a scoffer who has no understanding. No fruit on his page. And, and, and once I'm done with this edi this, this lesson, you know, to edify the flock, I'm going to delete you, man. No one's going to see your comments. Only only record of this back and forth is going to be this, this lesson. Okay? Matter of fact, let's go to Isaiah. Let's go to the account Yahweh Shah was talking about. All right? Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 9. And he said, Go. And tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, which is your mind, and convert and be healed. So the Lord Monty Israel don't want you to convert and be here. Because you got to have a name <laughs> as, as uh, a, a definite part of salvation, man. Right? Then said I, Lord, Yahweh by Shabbat Shah, how long? And he answered, until the cities be wasted without inhabitation and the houses without man. And the land be utterly desolate. What is that, man? Until the destruction comes. That's how long the Lord is going to be blinding two-thirds of our people from getting the truth, the 100% the truth, right? Till the cities be utterly wasted, man, all right? And the land be what? Utterly desolate. That's the Lord saying you're not going to get it till you get it in the kingdom, all right? Matter of fact, let's get another preset. We'll close it out here. All right, let's go to the book of Daniel, chapter 12. Uh, what do I want? Yep, verse 2. It says, and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth, your confusion, right, shall awake, you see, up out of that deep sleep, some to everlasting life. And some to shame and everlasting contempt. Yeah. 
went to Israel, you're going to be ashamed, man, unless you repent. All right? That's going to be it for the lesson. Lord willing, has been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule with him, teach well. Much respect to the brothers laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity and a hearty shalom to the believers out there who's believing on the word. So Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Lord willing, coming to you with a lesson. Till the next time I say, Shalom.